I smell the enemy. They are close. Okay, Naane, you divert their attention when they get close enough. Bryn, stay behind Chowan. I can handle... I don't care if you wield your sword like an Eginon blade dancer. We're not at home. We don't have the advantage. Follow my lead, Bryn. Your blade will taste blood today. Worry not. Let the smoke clear before you attack. The toxins lose their effect quickly, but you should still not breathe them. Got it. Hey, Juan, what do they smell like, the enemy? Hush. Hold on. What is it? Frozen water. I haven't seen this before. You'll tire of it soon enough, Bayad. It's almost like, like walking on clouds. Would you believe that some Eastlanders strap metal bars to their feet to make them glide on the ice? It looks ridiculous. Shh. Did you hear something? Rebels! Now! The captain is using magic for the cities. Go back to the hell you came from, Azadi. You call that fight? You got us now. The Azadi are coming farther and farther north. We kill ten, another twenty appear. So we kill them too. They're not invincible. That's not the way to stop them, Bryn. We need a better plan. Our sources in the city may have information. I hope so. But we need to focus on getting the supplies and bringing them back to the swamplands. Everything else is secondary. They are all depending on us. If another moon passes, the children will be at risk. If they should fall ill... Na'ane is right. We go back as soon as we have what we came for. And we do not engage the enemy within scouting distance of the city. We'll be cautious, Chuan. Now we continue, another few days due south, and we'll see her. Mercuria. I can't wait to see the city. If it's anything like you've described, April, it must be amazing. It's been a long time. Things change. Come on, let's move out. <laughs> <laughs>